Hey there, my friend. What's going on? It's Lisa here. Happy Foods. Hope you're having a super awesome day. It is a great day. It's Friday, but not only that, it's just we're here. We're alive. Life is great. So today is my grocery haul. I usually do my grocery shopping on Fridays. Um, my shopping ads come out on Wednesday, so it gives me a day or two to kind of get organized, see what's on sale and kind of um, make a little plan as to where I'm going and what I'm buying. And then I have the weekend to kind of prep up a little bit for the week uh, ahead. So um, yeah, it's a pretty decent week today. Um, I'm excited. Uh, just a couple things that I, I like to buy that are on sale. And I just wanted to mention too, as you can tell from my previous shopping hauls that I've started a few weeks back, that I'm not spending a lot of money on food for my family of five, and we're eating very healthy, in my opinion. A couple of things here and there that I wouldn't consider healthy, um, more for the kids as treats, but all in all, we're eating really well for a um, small budget. And um, how are we doing that? We are doing that if I have to give one tip that you could start right now to save money on your budget, on your food bill, is to shop what's on sale. Just do that. Just go through your flyers and take a look. What, what are the things that, that we use often? And when they're buy one, get one free, or they're on sale, or there's a big coupon that you have for it, um, then you buy it. Then you don't buy just one. You buy a couple of them, as much as you could afford so that you can put it aside for future use and you don't have to worry about that item for a while. And um, in time, you just start to build up a surplus of things and you have a lot more to choose from. So um, it's allowed us to eat for very inexpensively because uh, I've bulked up on certain staples that are very inexpensive and then when the other items that are a little more pricey go on sale, we buy them. So um, so right there, just buying things on sale, buying things that are on season, because whatever is in season is going to be less expensive. It's going to be probably fresher. It's probably going to taste better. Um, so for instance, this week, cabbage is on sale. Okay, I'm going to pick up cabbage for 29 cents a pound. 29 cents a pound. Cabbage is so good for you. It's got so many uses, and it lasts for a really long time. So you know what? I'm probably going to buy cabbage for the next two weeks because it will keep that long in the fridge. So, um, yeah, just doing little things like that, and uh, that will really, really help out. Also, bringing cash along and trying to stick to your budget and uh, really just trying to limit your shopping uh, to probably once a week. Um, and then that allows you to kind of use up things throughout the house. So anyways, those are kind of my tips, and um, I've got a couple of uh, stores i got to hit. So let me go do that, and I will, um, <clears throat> I will come back at you with all my, with all my food that I've, that I've gotten. So I think it's going to be good. And also check out some of the videos um, that I've been making all from the last grocery haul. I bought a bunch of stuff. I was doing bulk cooking all this week, so you can check out those videos. Um, I think this week, I don't know, let me know in the comments <clears throat> if you want me to do kind of a week of uh, what I eat in a day so you can kind of see what it is that I'm eating and the foods that I, from the foods that I bought um, to give you some ideas. So I could, I could do that maybe uh, next week. Also too, so I don't forget, there's so much to say, I don't mean to ramble too much longer, but um, Check out, um, I'm on Instagram and Facebook, and I really actually like Instagram. I'm a little better at, uh, I like posting the pictures. Uh, Facebook, I'll post uh, the videos that I post on YouTube, so if you're more of a Facebook person, um, you can see when I post uh, a new video, and I do post pictures there too. But um, yeah, click on the, um, the, I guess the homepage of the YouTube. I've got the, the little symbols, so... I'm not the most tech-savvy pe person here, guys. I don't edit my videos. I don't know how to do all that fancy stuff. I am I am learning, but uh, yeah, I'm very simple. But you can find the links there, and I love to have you um, over there and share any kind of info that, that you might have and just uh, 
yeah, just uh, build a little community. So let me get shopping here and I'll catch you in a little bit. All right, I am back from my grocery shopping. It is really amazing to get so much food for such little amount of money. Like I spent $51 this week. I have a budget of 50 bucks. You know, give or take a couple dollars here and there, but uh, it really always amazes me when I come back and I'm like, I got all this food for $50? I mean, really, really, really cool. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you what I got here behind behind me, but um, in the meantime, really cool. Um, I've been wanting to make uh, some fermented food for some probiotics, and I was thinking about possibly making some sauerkraut, and um, I had gotten in this book because I was getting into learning how to can Here's another one. I just checked these out of the library. This is by Ball. And um, it had a recipe for kombucha. I have never made it. I've actually never even tasted it. No, I take that back. A friend of mine makes it. Hers was really strong. It tastes like having a shot of apple cider vinegar. Anyways, my neighbor makes it. And um, I wanted to give it a whirl. And it says, you know, when you're starting off, you got to make this Scooby. And... Um, takes like three to five weeks to get this Scooby and then it gets stronger. So I just asked her if she had one that I could use so I could speed up the process a little bit. Um, Cause it's just tea and sugar and then you can add flavoring. So what a very, very inexpensive way to get some really good probiotics in. So she brought this over. Guys, this looks like an alien. This looks like some kind of, I don't even know. It, it does not look good at all. I'm like scared of it. Look at that. This is, I guess, a really good Scooby. So I guess it's going to, and she left me the tea. She said, put it all in there for my first batch. So stay tuned. You'll still be making some kombucha my very first time. We'll see how that goes over. <laughs> all right, let's go take a look at the, uh, the groceries I got. So we can go over that. So here is the grocery haul. 51 bucks this came to you guys. I think I saved almost half in savings so probably realistically about 75 bucks worth of food maybe even more uh 51 bucks so let's check out what i got we'll start with the great deals here um publix they had um this gluten-free pasta buy one get one free so it was a dollar a box um a lot of times when they put uh pasta on sale they exclude gluten-free lasagna some of these specialty ones so um and i've tried several brands so if you're into gluten-free um this rosini brand tastes just like regular pasta i swear to you i've given it to my kids you cannot tell the difference it's really really good um sometimes i like the quinoa and the brown rice pastas and stuff but sometimes when they cook up they get really i don't know, slimy or something like the water over boils i don't know it's kind of gross but this is really good. So I got 10 boxes. I got a couple of, I got some rotini, I got some penne, I got some spaghetti uh, back here. So I got 10 boxes there. So that was 10 bucks. And uh, they have uh, the butter I like on sale. Buy one, get one free too. It's the one I usually buy, but um, you know, when things aren't on sale, I just buy what's on sale. But since this is the one I like, I got four of them. So these are regularly $4 each, but they were on sale for two dollars each um so vegan non-gmo um it's really really tasty it tastes just like butter so i got four of those so between this the pasta and the um the the vegan butter the plant-based butter that right there was uh ten dollars i saved in the pasta and 18 bucks savings then i got um cabbage 29 cents a pound so i got these two Big Daddy's of Cabbage for $1.75 came to. Uh, let's see, I hit up Costco. Got some um, organic romaine hearts. I uh, love that for salads. Um, I'll probably use a lot of the shredded cabbage, do some shredded cabbage and romaine in my salads. Uh, picked up a big bag. Already cut, already washed um, broccoli. This is three pounds of broccoli. Four fifty for the broccoli, four fifty for the uh, romaine. These were at Costco, and I use the broccoli mostly. Try to eat it raw for um, in salads, um, snacking, and I'll probably you know steam some up for dinner, and I don't know maybe make a soup. I have no idea. I can always freeze it too, but um, I'm gonna try to eat that fresh. 
Then, let's see, dollar store, some little snacks for the kids. I just try to rotate things up. I got this bag, of, I got two bags of pretzels. These are really good. I can't, I can't eat them anymore, but um, they have like a little sweetness to them. So I got two bags of pretzels. I'll have that for lunches and snacks. And then another thing of popcorn. This is great at the dollar store. Um, it's non-GMO. Um, a huge bag for a dollar. It really makes a lot of popcorn. It's like two fifty in the regular grocery stores. I saw Publix for two fifty. Big lots. I just got this uh, thing of um, uh, crackers, a dollar, because the box was just all kind of banged up. So I just put that aside for some other time. Um, save a lot. They had. Um, I was hoping they had some bananas, three pounds for a dollar, but see, they went up. So you got to take advantage when these uh, prices are low. Um, I did buy a case though. And um, they had this eight pound bag of um, apples for $5, which is a really good price. That's like 65 cents a pound. So um, I've been juicing, Jen and I have been juicing every morning, uh, if you've been following me. And uh, we're doing it here on a budget. Uh, we're just making a small juice, but just trying to be real consistent with it. And um, pretty much been doing like apple, lemon, cucumber, um, kale. Um, changing it up sometimes between apple and orange and sometimes adding some ginger. Actually, one thing I forgot, uh, I have to go to the Indian store and grab some ginger. It's only like a buck or two. If you ever want ginger, go to Asian store or Indian store. It's like a quarter of the price. Anyway, so um, yeah, so we'll use some of that for juicing and for snacking. That's a lot of apples. Bilo. Look at these big daddy cantaloupes. Two bucks each. So I got three of them. They are humongous. One thing about cantaloupes and fruit in general, melons, is they are not ripe. <laughs> they are not ripe. You, you can go up to a melon and tell when it's ripe. You put it up to your nose and you smell it. And if it smells sweet, it is probably ripe. If you don't smell anything, let it sit on your counter. Um, don't put it in the refrigerator. Once it's ripe, you can put it in your refrigerator and that baby can, you can hold on to that for another week or so if it's not open. So last time I bought two big cantaloupes, we ate one one week. When it was ripe, I put it in the refrigerator, not cut, and we had it the next week and it was perfect. So this is going to carry over most likely for another week. Um, kale, Harris Teeter. Um, I was a little disappointed that bunches weren't quite as big as they've been, but I got two of them for $2. So this will be mostly for juicing. We'll use the stems and everything. Uh, that's why I got the romaine for salads mostly, but uh, we'll have that for snack, sa salads, smoothies, um, green ice cream, juicing, whatever. Um, got a thing of organic celery at um, Harris Teeter. Two bucks for that. So use that for snacking and I'll use all the ends and those little tiny pieces for juicing. Uh, cucumbers, got four big cucumbers for 50 cents each. Uh, again, a little bit for snacking and mostly for juicing, but using cucumbers and celery really yield a lot of juice. So um, they're good. I got a two pound bag of carrots from Harris Teeter. And oh, oh, and one little tomato guy when I was at uh, Save a Lot. They had these really beautiful tomatoes, 88 cents a pound. So this was like 60 cents or something. Nice tomato. I actually have the three tomatoes I bought from last week's grocery haul. They've been sitting ripening, so they're now just ready to eat this week. So we'll have them for our salads. So that'll be nice. So yeah, so 51 bucks, guys. A lot of food. And um, yes, so I will uh, be making some chili tonight, actually, for my... Last week's video, if you've been following me, I've been making stuff using up some, doing some bulk cooking. So stay tuned. I'll have that posted either tonight or tomorrow. And um, yeah, if you guys would like to, um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. But also if you uh, would like to see me do what I eat in a day videos all next week, kind of showing you with the food that I have, what I'm doing with it. I know those can be really helpful, just real kind of, not so much getting into recipes, but just giving you ideas. So um, if you'd like to see that, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, as always, I love to hear from you. And come find me on Facebook and Instagram. And I will catch you in the next video. That's it. So go save yourself some money. Go find what's on sale, what's in season. And um, yeah.
Much love, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.